Sanchez are concentrated. Oh. Off for my birthday treat to Downton Abbey. <laughs> hey, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. What is week, is it week 66? Oh, they've just arrived, I've just seen them. And I'm welcoming you from Downton Abbey. Look at that so crazy just to see it in uh, real life we just got here waiting for my auntie to pull up and i've literally just seen them yeah so basically so the rest of the day is gonna be downtown vibes for like just look at it like over there it's such a nice day for it as well like it's nice and warm but like overcast still so it's all good um yeah So we're all done at downtown. They've all just gone to the car to quick clean it for a wee. We couldn't film it inside. Got a really bad wedgie. Maybe someone just stared at me doing it. But like, I'm just back. Um, yes, now going to the car. And um, I think we'll have a cup of tea when we get back. And then we're gonna get ready and go out for dinner. To be clean, it was me, my auntie. God, they didn't even get very far, I can see them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. There's a place. Magnificent, absolutely wonderful day out. Next time you shall see me is eating dinner. I also have done today's eat. <laughs> got love our on in the background i already skipped 10 minutes by accident so i'm just gonna keep it on now i'm not even gonna stop it we've got some deep chats going on but i have just filmed this so i thought i would document it before i ripped it all off my face um yeah i used the cash beauty color trip palette and just did a whole like review situation i just did like a little first impressions like you know seeing how good it is for medium skin and all that um but here we go that is the situation so i'm now going to tidy all of this mess up and sit and watch love island okay so me and davina are currently oh. taking I'm pcr thinking. tests because ishi just got a positive covid test I think, like, it's Result. A good thing. <laughs> so i was literally just at the office and i had to come home from the office so i could take this i meant to be going to manchester but that's not going to happen anymore. Before we start with these instructions. Oh no, you no. have to break it in, yeah, so it fits in the vial. Yeah, you put it in, you don't break it in your nose. <laughs> I need a wee. Claustrophobic towering. <laughs> so when the swab goes up your nose and, it, and his head's going, it's claustrophobic towering. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, carefully move. This is a bigger swab than last time. Ah, uh, that's what you told me to do last time. Uh, How many times do you have to do it? Four? Ten seconds. Is it ten seconds? No, that's up your nose. No, that's ten seconds. I must Hold the swab, open your mouth. Swab. Swab. <laughs> so how did you snap it? You just... Snap I snapped it. it with the black line facing me. Oh, black. Oh! Okay, well, I can go in. Okay, so we've done it. 
So I'm at home. <laughs> I've got the hiccups. Um, I got home and I've just been working. It's about six o'clock now, so I'm still doing a little bit of work just to catch up. <laughs> okay. So far feeling okay, but now my vlog will be here to document my COVID journey. <laughs> Ishi bless him is like coughing away in his room. But the reason why I'm talking to you guys is because I got another Poems by Post. I really was not expecting this because, you know, the last one they did this and it just was a gift. You know, it's cool, but like, I didn't expect to send me another one. Oh, it's really sweet. They said, thanks for sharing us to your story. It looked fantastic. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoy this month's edition too. Alex and Ruben. I think it's called Humane. This is the poem by Rohan Samuel. Um, it's called Humane. Again, I will also just put it here. Can we see that? Yeah. So you can pause it and give that a read. But yeah, and then it came with this this card instead which also i might just i'm gonna keep these cards because just the artwork of them is like amazing um but yeah thank you so much again alex and ruben you didn't have to and i really appreciate it, it did really make my day okay so to make ourselves all feel a bit better like we all have to sit in the same house for the next 10 days we ordered pizza normally friday is our takeaway night today's thursday but you know Needs must in these situations. I'm trying to shower myself a bit better. So this is the pizza. Oh! Pizza. I can vlog everything. Yeah. Care about Mary and Dale. Me and Charlie are on Facetime. She's there. She's there. You can't really see her very well. But we were meant to be going out for dinner today, and we couldn't because obviously now it's late. So we're sitting watching Love Island together. It's Friday, my dudes. It is Friday. This vlog, I don't even know how entertaining it's going to be because I've not actually no, we went to Down and Abbey this week, never mind. Because I was kind of banking on Manchester this weekend to make it like really interesting and really cool. Um but that's not happening anymore. It's fun. It's fun. I've just gotta be my more entertaining self. Do you know what I have started to do? I've sort of done trying various pieces of clothing on, so like trousers and jeans and realizing they don't fit so now they're going in this bottom pile so i can donate and sell them on depop either one my pcr test came back inconclusive <laughs> that was fun uh so i'm going to go and take another one at lunchtime i feel fine so maybe if i do have it i'm one of those amazing lucky ones that's asymptomatic and i don't have any symptoms that would be fab okay oh so I've just put the potatoes on boil for my mama's shepherd's pie. Um, and then I was going to take some book photos. I just come upstairs to pick up some books. But I realised my shelf could do with a bit of a tidy up. It's a bit of a mess. So that's what we're going to do. So these are the books I have not read. These are all on my TBR. This stack is all of ARCs I've just not got around to. These are probably the newest. These are most definitely the oldest. And then it just goes from there. There's 42 books. Right, now the big thing is how am I going to organize them? I think I told you yesterday I had to go do another PCR test because my other one came back inconclusive. But this one, I got the results today and I am negative. Oh yeah. Kudos to my brother though, bless him. He has literally been confining himself to his bedroom. Like, he is on it, bless him. Um, so yeah, I'm negative. I am just, what time is it now? It's two o'clock, it's two o'clock. Got up, cleaned the bathroom, over the stairs. Um, I've had a shower. I'm doing a face mask at the moment. It's the brightening face mask, I think, from Glam Glow. I got it years ago. It's probably out of, out of date, but oh well. And I've decided what I'm going to do now 
is go through my dresses because I have quite a few evening dresses. A few that I've never worn or worn once and I just know that they're not going to fit me anymore. So I'm about to get really sad and try them all on and see what fits me and what doesn't fit me. And I'll be putting the rest of them on my Depop or giving them to charity. So I might film a bit of that and I'll be like, I have a bit of a crisis because they used to fit me, now they don't. But yeah, I'm just chilling at the minute and sort this face mask out. Then we will do that. Okay, so here's a few dresses. I just need to go in here and get some more stuff. But and I'm going to try on all my trousers and stuff like that. But we shall start with the dresses and see if they fit. <laughs> okay, I have not worn this dress since I was 18. This was my 18th birthday dress. And I think because I have more boobs now, it actually looks better on me. So this is the dress. Can we see it? It's long. <laughs> it's long. It's got a nice like split in it. It is size 10 and it's from New Look. I mean, this is a little bit of a concern, but I don't think anybody, like I used to be like that. I used to be like that. <laughs> Here we go, the complex has started. But yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna keep this one because I mean, I could wear some like sort of key in pants if I wanted, but I like it. Okay, so I got this one right at the start of last year because it was my uncle's birthday, I think. This is from ASOS. And it's just this really cute, it's not all fully done up here. I think that's just because I'm a bit, oh, it's a bit tight. But yeah, and it's like, I don't know, I just really love it. And it's like, I don't know, asymmetric at the front. So this is what it looks like. It has like a, yeah, the wrap material, it's asymmetric. It's really cute. So it's a bit tight on my neck. Don't remember it being that tight, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one. This is the most devastating thing of them all because I knew this wasn't going to fit me and it doesn't <laughs> I'm so sad because I absolutely love this jumpsuit so much it won't do up on the back but this is the jumpsuit I mean oh, this is the jumpsuit I mean look how tight it is <laughs> I'm so sad like it's the most like I love this so much so I shall be selling this, which is really sad, but if anyone can recommend me anything similar, this one was from Topshop. I'm really sad about it. Okay, so this is my prom dress from when I was 16. So, I mean, I'm not mad that I don't fit in it anymore because that was a long time ago. But how gorgeous is it? Honestly, I'm devastated. It doesn't do up at the back. It doesn't do up. I'm so sad. But it's gorgeous, it's really tight, it's a mermaid style, I can't really, oh wait, you can see in the mirror, there we go, that's what I look like, <laughs> yeah, how sad is that? Okay, so there's this I saw it first dress, which is gorgeous, I have never worn it before, I like this detailing, it's pretty, and it fits me, I don't know, I could keep it, but I'd have to wear some like, pants, because, I don't know, it doesn't look very flattering because of the type of material it is um and stuff so i would have to wear some i don't even know if i like it to be honest it's a really weird material as well it's like a balloon it's so strange okay we have this number that i wore for my 21st birthday or no maybe my 21st i think so i can't remember um but it's from new look size 10 i'm not keeping it because just doesn't fit properly your battery in but as i was saying it just doesn't really like flatter me properly and i just don't know this bit is way too short like i just like i like the top and that's cute but just doesn't do anything so this is going on my depop too okay so this one we have from top shop and my mum has already claimed it because it doesn't do a work and it is just a little bit it's a bit snug i just don't think i'm a fan of this color anymore i used to love this color and I just think I'm all about the dark vibes now. But yeah. So this one was Topshop. It was originally 75 and I got it on discount because I used to work there. And I saw it in the sale. So I just was like, boop, I'm having that. But yeah. <laughs> so I promise this actually fits. I've just not done it up because it, I need help. <laughs> um, but this fits. This is the dress I wore for my birthday last year. It's a poly. I have it. And this colour as well because this is the one that I wore for my graduation so it's like the same dress but different colours I might buy a black one because I love it so much it's like a midi dress you can see it there in the mirror over there um and it's just really nice I really like it and the ruffles just hide this area and stuff so yeah 
Okay, so I've put bodysuit on because now we're gonna go and do all of my trousers. And I just know none of these are gonna fit. <laughs> we have some trousers that fit. And actually, this is a really cute outfit. So these are my Topshop trousers. I don't know what they're called or whatever, but they're like in a tweed-esque style. They fit me still. So I shall be keeping them. Not a lot of other things do. <laughs> Out of them all, these are the only other pair that fit and they're basically a black and white version of the other one that I just wore. They're a little bit snug, but to be honest, I think I'm going through my puffy phase because, and I've had a lot of water retention because I had pizza and stuff and really salty food not long ago, so I'm making excuses. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about how messed up sizing is for a second. These are a size 8, yeah, I just had them on and you saw me and they just fit. I have another pair of trousers from Topshop, similar style, like smart-ish style. Um, they're an 8 and they don't even go past my thighs. So, if that doesn't tell you how messed up sizing is, I don't know what will. I'm normally a 10, by the way. 8 sometimes is a bit of a rarity. Well, it used to be. Um, but yeah, so, please just take sizing with it. Just a pinch of salt. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> wait, 21, three years ago. No, was I 18 five years ago? No. <laughs>